1.2 million people were affected by floods in Nigeria in August 2024, the same number of victims of droughts was recorded in Namibia between April and June. This is the extent of extreme weather events across countries on the African continent. Despite the alarming figures, the resilience of African states to climate change remains low. Countries only devote 1 to 4 percent of their national budgets to responding to natural disasters mainly resulting from climate change. I urge you, our parliamentarians, to continue championing effective and efficient disaster risk management policy formulation and legislation in our countries and through various continental and regional bodies by actively introducing and also supporting bills that promote the mainstreaming of disaster risk reduction and also ensure adequate budgetary allocations for the initiative in a multi-sectoral and holistic approach. The challenge in preparing African states for extreme weather events lies in data collection. Currently, 45% of African states have an early warning system. However, only 32 countries have implemented data monitoring system necessary for the development of risk profiles. African Union member states have signed the Sendaya Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction 2015-2030. Moreover, the Pan-African Organization has adopted the Africa Multi-Hazard Early Warning and Early Action System through which it calls regional economic communities, local authorities and the private sector to action. The African Multi-Hazard Early Warning and Early Action System MEWAS program is leading the way in improving our preparedness for hazard. This program, especially through the establishment of situation room and the provision of timely advisory, enable African countries to monitor and respond quickly to hazard, safeguarding lives, livelihoods and infrastructure. Increased investment in disaster risk reduction is key in safeguarding the development gain made by the continent during the last four decades. Natural disasters linked to climate change caused African countries to lose around 4% of their GDP. By 2040, temperatures are expected to rise to 35 degrees Celsius on average for 61 days a year, an index four times higher in Africa than in the rest of the world, reveals the perspectives of experts.